What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we will be discussing what pair of shoes I used for my 100 mile ultra marathon. I used the Hoka Speed Goat 4s. This is a neutral max cushion trail running shoe. The Speed Goats come in weighing at 10.8 ounces and it has a four millimeter heel to toe drop. This shoe is really good for long distance running in the trails or any rugged terrain. Let's talk about the midsole first, okay? So it has a wider midfoot than the previous model. The Speed Goat 4s, they're meant to be designed to have a really comfortable ride. So it's constructed with a more rigid foam for responsiveness that also helps with top tier performance. The upper material is constructed with a more breathable upper to provide runners with cooling airflow even on the hottest runs. And with the minimal tongue and semi-gusseted attachments, you don't have to worry about irritations slowing you down. Next, onto the outsole. They have deep lugs and their new positioning of the Hoka Speed Goat 4s helps you from slipping and sliding even on the most uneven terrain. Any steep downhills or technical switchbacks were very easy to tackle with these shoes. You have a ton of grip. It gives you a lot of confidence as you guys are out there on the trails. General size and fit of the Speed Goat 4s they come true to size. I got these in 11. They fit perfectly. After I broke the after I broke the shoe in, even as my feet were getting swollen and, and, and bigger during the 100 mile race, I still was able to use this shoe comfortably and I didn't get many blisters from wearing these shoes. The lacing system and the slip free heel lockdown keep your feet secure and in place even when you guys are going through rocks or any technical trails. The breathable rugged upper, it really gives you guys an opportunity to run through your trails without overheating your feet and the mesh upper is really lightweight and breathable. It makes it very seamless as you guys are on the trails. The 3D print overlays give you an extra midfoot support and a more secure feel so your feet are locked in through the technical terrain. The new lightweight foam in the midsole gives you a more responsive ride so you can put more miles on the trail. The outsole, it's made with that Vibram rubber outsole which gives you a no slip grip in any condition on any terrain so nothing can stop you from heading out to that next mile to the next aid station that you guys might be going to. Honestly, I really did enjoy using the Speedgoats for my 100 mile ultra marathon. I had a lot of support and grip from the outsole of the shoes. I had very little issues when it came to slippage or going down the downhills. The terrain at Grindstone was very hilly and technical. There was a bunch of different rocks, loose rocks, um, you know, trees that you had to kind of maneuver through throughout the, throughout the trail. So these shoes worked perfectly and my feet absolutely felt amazing. The shoe comes in at 145 bucks. That is a pretty consistent price when it comes to different trail running shoes. I think I would say that's pretty average when it comes to price compared to other trail running shoes. So you're getting a really good deal for 145 bucks to get the Speed Goat for us. Who would I recommend these shoes to? I would say anyone that is looking to get into trail running or they already are a big trail runner, but they wanna get a shoe that has a ton of grip and max cushion. If you're looking for that race day trail running shoe for your next ultra marathon, I would highly recommend considering getting a pair of the Hoka Speed Goat 4s. So how am I gonna use this shoe? Well, I kinda use them for my 100 mile ultra already, but I would definitely use this shoe for training if I'm hiking, if I'm going on a trail that's a little bit more technical, or if I'm trail running, or using this shoe on my next ultra marathon or my next trail run. Next, let's talk about the pros and cons of the shoe. Okay, so the two things that really stand out to me were the grip of the outsole, as well as the max cushion. So as you guys are on your technical trails, maneuvering through the trail or the woods or wherever you might be, you guys are gonna get a ton of grip from that outsole, as well as having a ton of support and comfortability for your feet. My feet had no blisters at the end of 100 miles, which is quite crazy to think about. But I believe that this shoe played a big role in the blisters not really forming because the comfort is superior. The biggest con of this shoe is probably its durability. Obviously, trail running shoes do not last nearly as long as road running shoes because of the wear and tear that happens on a trail when you're in rocks, when you're in gravel, when you're climbing mountains, when you're going down mountains. There's a lot more to deal with, a lot of different variables variables that trail running shoes have to go through than a road running shoe. So bottoms of the speed goats were torched after my 100 miles, which is to be expected, but just keep that in mind. I think durability, you might get to three to 400 miles out of this shoe. Clearly, I already put 100 in these shoes in 29 hours, which is probably not the smartest, but they got the job done and it helped me crush my first 100 mile ultra marathon. That is the review of the Hoka Speed Goat 4s. If you guys liked the video or got any value out of it, make sure you guys smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you guys get notified when I push out shoe review videos just like this one. But till next time, deuces. I'll see you on the next one.